My name is Richard Adams and I grew up in the South Bronx, New York. I quit the dumb out, run up in your crib with the guns out. Spray your pee, smack the baby teeth out your son mouth. All right, all right. And how long you been playing ball, man? I've been playing ball since 1973. And I am from the Bronx. Out of the schoolyards of New York. Richie Adams is a six foot nine former basketball star who had the opportunity to take his talents to the NBA and make a name for himself. Having grown up in the Grand Concourse section of the Bronx, Adams dropped out of Alpha E. Smith High School as a sophomore and stayed out of school for two years before enrolling at East Harlem's Benjamin Franklin High School in 1978. One of the principals asked me why I'm not playing for the team, and I told him my grades wasn't up. So that's when the coach came to me and said, listen, you don't have to play in this school if you don't want to. You can play at Ben Franklin in Harlem. And now I went to Harlem, put me in a few classes to get my grades up, and I went from there. I went to junior college to get my GED, my equivalency. And from junior college in Boston, I was planning on going to uh, Boston College. This is when Chuck Daly was coaching Boston College. He had John Bagley, Michael Adams, and they needed a big man. And I was supposed to play center. But then Sidney Green, who I played with in the Rucker and Gauchos in New York City, he was already at UNLV. So he told Tarkanian that we need a big man and Richie's the perfect one. And that's what I did. You know, that's, that was my goal. It wasn't to seriously make it to the NBA. I would have loved to have made it. But my goal was, as I was playing growing up, I said, I want to play against Dr. J and Kareem. Artie was the highest jumping person I ever seen. Artie went up over me. Now, here it is. I'm six, eight and a half. And Artie's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, if that, he jumped over me by about a foot. <laughs> but, the, no, the dunk didn't go in. We were both up so high that the ball hit the rim and my shoulder, and the ref said, good block. So Artie looked at the ref and said, nobody ever blocked my dunk. So what are you saying? Yo, one, who's the nicest nigga you ever seen play? I remember this shit clearly. And you used to be like, without even hesitating, yo, fam, this nigga Richie what? Adams. The nigga was like 6'8". Okay. The nigga was left-handed. The nigga was just cocking it on everything. I'm like, yo. Yeah, Richie Holmes, I was with the nigga, like, last summer, man. At the yeah. old time, of that's my man, dude. Nah, listen, though, listen, because you used to tell me from young, like, yo, face, listen, man. But Richie Adams, though, as far as dominance, he probably the best nigga I've ever seen play. For the Rebels, number 31, six foot eight senior out of New York, Richie Adams. <laughs> for the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, is Jerry Tarkanian. UNLV 6-2, again the starting lineups, and a newcomer to the UNLV lineup a couple of weeks ago is Armin Gilliam. Anderson's shot is rejected, missed on the whirling derby shot, grabbed off by Richie Adams. Utah State this season. Adams makes it 21 to 14. Yeah, a little bit of a coaching decision. Things are going so well. Rod Tuller doesn't want to shake it up. Break. Anderson takes the shot. Goaltending is the call against Richie Adams. The basket goes to Jeff Anderson. Utah State probably saying, "Bring on Georgetown this way." Wow, what a start! Adams pours in the eight-footer. He was fouled by Beck. The basket will count. Is doing the smart thing now. They're in trouble. They're way behind. They're not shooting from the outside. They're going in deep to Adams. That's really a smart thing to do. A foul on Gary Beck, his first, the fourth team foul against Utah State. Grant will take the shot. Rebounded hard by Richie Adams. Hits the outlet. Man. Graham down to Adams. Bang! 31-23. Vince Washington, rebounded by Richie Adams. Average yeah, State has two Jeff Andersons. This is Jeff J. Anderson. Uh, Richie Adams. Anderson off to Vince Washington. Rejected by, I think, Richie Adams. The crowd wants goaltending. This is just the first half, folks. We yeah, still have over great. three minutes to go. What can the second half do for an encore? Richie Adams drops it through. Jeff Anderson along the baseline, tough shot. Adams with it. 
56-47 Utah State. Richie will swing it up over back and hit it. Richie Adams. The half is over. Listen to this crowd at the Spectrum in Logan, Utah. 65-60 Utah State. Adams over Grant, right through. 65-62 and Richie Adams, 16. Richie Adams, the little fingertip roll on the five-footer. 67-64. Nice pass over to Greg Grant. Grant underneath, tries a tough shot, and a foul against Richie Adams, and he is irate over the call. Yeah, I don't blame him. I didn't see any foul in there. Nice little baseline move by Grant. As Richie Adams tries a little 10-footer. 70 to 66. Richie, 20 points. Yeah, he's really playing a smart game. I like his shot selection under there. Anthony Jones missed the shot, but there was Richie Adams to slam it through. Richie Adams, 22 points. Back over to Gilliam, 10-footer. Richie Adams. Richie Adams with 24 points. Missed underneath. Taken off by Richie Adams. Inside to Richie. Look at that swing around pass. This might be a good way to defend UNLV. You can double team Adams this way, but you're not going to stop him apparently. No way. 77-74. Bad pass stolen by Richie Adams. Adams against Jeff Anderson. Fingertip roll right through. And he comes back and makes the goal 10. You talk about speed full length of the floor. Look at that. Adams. Really intimidated, I think, Grant, and caused him to arch the ball. 13, but the three-point basket almost knocked away by Greg Grant. Banks will fire it up. Hits it. Tie game, 116 all. Oh. There's no defense on him, though. No defense at all. They knew he was going to do it. And he was well outside of the range. Richie Adams uh, jumping against Greg Grant, and Grant gets the tip, slaps it back into the court to uh, Vince Washington. Adams over Grant, and UNLV takes the lead, 120-118. Richie Adams, 33 points. Adams on the bank. Foul is called on Bill Floyd. Richie has made three out of four at the line. Now 122 to 120. UNLV, 309 in the overtime. Rebounded by Richie Adams. And a three-point play could win this now for UNLV. Vince Washington throws up a prayer. And we go to another overtime. Another OT. Sometimes you won't get that call on the road, but maybe at home, but not in this case. Richie Adams jumping. Adams gets the tip down to Ed Ketchings. Tied at 126. This is the second overtime. Jeff Anderson misses. Grabbed off by Richie Adams. That's about the only thing they can do right here. That's two. Nice pass. Nice pass. And for Richie Adams, 35 points. And guess what? We're about to go into our third overtime. Robinson jumping against Johnson, and Johnson swaps it back over to Vince Washington. And Johnson turned his ankle when he came down. And LV wins. So a game that went down in NCAA history, a great victory for UNLV. History was made here tonight in Logan, Utah at the Spectrum. In three overtimes. everybody's head and I did my job rebound block shots intimidation okay okay that's basically what I do he was twice named Pacific Coast Atlantic Associate Player of the Year whenever he went home it was always something Tarkani said we knew we'll get a call about one thing or another 
Begged by Tal Kaney to return to school, Adams went back to Las Vegas, but he had missed too many classes and was forced to sit out the season as a red shirt. In each of his last two seasons in which the Rebels finished in a combined record of 57 wins and 10 losses, he was selected the Conference Player of the Year.